Now we will talk about the first example of amortization. This is taken from 2009, Part A, Question 4. If a 400,000 mortgage has monthly payments for 15 years and interest at 4.5% compound to semi-annually, then each payment is closest to, and the relevant equation will be used is the periodic payment equation. And here, there's a tricky part, which I've mentioned before, about interest rates. They are often integrated into different kinds of questions where we will have to convert them. So realize that here we are talking about monthly payments. And here, the interest rate is given semi-annually. So what we will have to do is convert it into monthly interest. So we will do that now. So 1 plus R, and this is monthly to the power of 12 because it accumulates to a year. We're trying to equate both interests into a year so then we can find out what R is. So 1 plus 4.5 percent. This is nominal because it says compound and semi-annually and it did not say effective. So divided by how many semi-annuals are there in one year? There are two. So bracket to the power of 2. Which in the end we'll find that R is equal to 0.0037153. So here we go. So this equals to what's A? A is the original mortgage amount. So it's 400,000. And R, as we found, is 0 0.0037153. And then 1 minus. 1 plus 0 0.0037153 close bracket to the power of what's n? So in this case we have 15 years and they're monthly payments so it would be 15 times 12 which is 180 so 180 in the end the answer would be 3051.47 which matching to the multiple choice answer it'd be 3050, which is B. For the next example of amortization, we put it up from 2008, Part B, Question 2. So a person puts down a down payment of 70000 on a house and sets up a mortgage to pay for the rest. The mortgage is amortized over 20 years at 6.2% per annum compounded semi annually with monthly payments of 915. How much was the house worth at the start? So here is a tricky part, and like what I've always been saying, interest rates conversion is always integrated everywhere else, so make sure you know how to do it. Here our interest rate is given semi-annually, but our payment period is monthly. So what we will have to do is match the semi-annual into monthly. So let the conversion begin. Here we have 1 plus 0 0.062, which is 6.2%, over 2, because there are two semi-annuals in the manual. To the power of 2 equals bracket 1 plus R, close bracket, to the power of 12. And this is the monthly effective rate. And we've found that to be 0 0.005101. So now let's begin the question. Here we have A, which is the present value, or how much the house is worth at the start. So A equals R is our payment. Payments given and says it's 915 times 1 minus bracket 1 plus R, which is found to be 0 0.0051101, close bracket. So what is N here? It's amortized over 20 years and it's monthly payments. So how many payments are there in total? There are 240 over. 0 0.005101. Here it seems like we're done, but we're not done because there is a down payment of 70,000 at the beginning, at the very beginning. And since we're finding present value, we do not have to accumulate it or move it backwards. So it's just plus 70,000. And as a result, this will give us 196,477. And this is the answer we're looking for. So now let's proceed to the part B of the question. How much more interest is contained in the 14th payment than in the 20th payment of the mortgage? 
here we'll be using the equation of interest in kth payment. We see that this is the equation that's given in the concept video. However, I've went further and simplified the equation so it becomes like this because there is r in the denominator of annuity and it cancels out with this r and becomes like this. So we'll begin. Here is the 14th payment with just interest only and the 20th payment with just interest. So we're talking about only the interest portion. So here, r, we will have 915 and then 1 minus bracket 1 plus. So r, we found that it is this. So 0 0.005101 close bracket. So what will be n? n is not just simply 14 because as we've seen in this equation, it's n minus k plus 1. So in this case, it would be, since we know there are total payments of 240 times, and then k is our 14th, and plus 1. So that will give us 227. Now we talk about the 20th payment. Here we're going to have the same thing, 915, close bracket, 1 minus bracket, 1 plus 0 0.005101, close bracket, to the power of negative 240 minus 20 plus 1. So it would be 2. 21. Here we can begin subtracting one another to find out how much more there's interest in the 14th one than the 20th one. And we do that by factoring out 915 so it will be easier to find out. So it will become bracket 1 minus 1 1.005101 close bracket minus 227 minus 1 minus 1.005101 1 close bracket to the power of 2 2 1 negative close bracket and this in the end will give us 8.94 and this is the answer we're looking for